Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the next Vitaly Kaufman garage update. So we have a Subaru Forester, the car that you love to not watch videos of. We have the, the trusty, old rusty Lincoln Town car, and then we have this. We have a 2020 Volkswagen Jetta, and this is my next rental car from Enterprise. Um, and it's a funny story how I got this one is I reserved a mid-sized car uh, after my experience with my Chevy Spark being an economy car. I was like, well, let me get the largest thing that my company, uh, you know, agrees to pay for, which is a mid-sized car. For some reason, full-size car is just, just not, not in the budget. But it, it's okay. I booked a mid-size. I showed up to pick it up. And he's like, oh, you'll be getting a free upgrade today. And I was like, well, what, what kind of upgrade it is? And he's like, oh, it's a Jetta. And I'm thinking, like, isn't Jetta a compact car? Um, I think in, in North America, Jetta is, like, the smallest car that they, they make and sell. Well, that they sell. <laughs> uh, there used to be a, a Volkswagen Rapid. That kind of went away. And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's a standard size car. And, you know, he's a former car rental person. I was like, oh, God, I remember those games. I remember the... The economy, compact, mid-size, standard size, full size, premium, luxury, specialty. And here it is. <laughs> here is the, if you guys can see that, maybe not, 2020 Volk Jet SE SCAR, which stands for a standard size car from Florida. And got the license plate and whatever. Uh, or no, not the license plate, but the, uh, the code uh, for it. And there it is. And here's the key for it. And in this case, I got the, the, the double trouble here. So this is where they, they stick both keys on one ring. Then they have an extra ring with the tag and everything. Oh, yeah, here. It's actually on this side. So the JAJH02, I guess, is the tag. And, you know, yes, it creates a bit of a mess here on my, on my keys. You have a Lincoln key, of course. You have my house keys. And then I, I get to carry this contraption for the next uh, week or so. But I'll be honest with you. I have not seen a modern Volkswagen key. I don't know anybody with a Volkswagen. Um, I'm not sure if all the keys are the same, but you have this Jetta. Now it says SE, it doesn't say SE. I'll have to check to see if SE, it's probably uh, the uh, the second one from the bottom. I'm, I'm guessing, because there's gotta be like some sort of a base model, but I don't know, this says SE. I don't see any SE here, but whatever. But actually, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good key. I like the little Volkswagen design there. It does have um, a little, uh, you know what, I can't do it with one hand, but it does have a metal key that comes out here. So, so there it is. And it is a push button start. It has smart key access. So, which leads me to believe it's the one from, from the, the bottom. Um, you know, it's not like the base model. So let's take a look at it. I mean, overall, I like I like the color black. It does come with a sunroof too, which is pretty large. So, um, you know, this design. Uh, I mean, it's okay. I do like the God, and and I I think this is like the sixth or seventh generation at this point. Uh, it's a 2020, but I don't think they've changed for 2021. And, you know, when I associate, uh, when somebody tells me Volkswagen Jetta, for some reason I do associate it with, like, the the late 90s, early 2000s, probably, like, the fourth or fifth generation. I don't know. I kind of like those that design. But this is okay, I guess. It's, it's a little simple looking. I mean, it's got these lines here, which do kind of give a character. I mean, when you have this in the background, you don't need any extra character because that, that's where the character is at. But, but overall, I mean, look, you got... You know, you have rims. I think they are rims. Yeah, they are rims. Uh, they're painted. You have these... You have these... I don't know. If, I think they're plastic. Um, I think, like, this whole thing is like a piece of plastic that comes off. Or maybe these individual... Because these feel like 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 almost like rubber. Um, but but it's okay, I guess. You know, not, not too bad. Too bad rims. You have a little bit of chrome here. No, not a whole lot else to, to look at here. Let's see. Oh, wow. It is lockable, too. So, got to make sure that that is. All right. So, let's see. It looks like there's some sort of a, a thing here. Which looks like I got it with some sort of a dent. I don't know. Whatever it is. All right. So, let's check it out. Check it out here. 
Right, yeah, from the back, I mean, it does look simple. I guess let's, let's look in the trunk. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, well, that's not... Well, it's not the type of uh, thing that you push on. Okay, well, then let's look, let's look over here. There you go, so pushing the button. All right, wow. Trunk space is pretty good. You know, <laughs> compared to that, <laughs> compared to that spark, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, this will fit my luggage just fine. Um, surprising with this floor, at least not in an obvious way. Oh, okay. So there's not like a handle here or anything. You have to like grab it from the side, but you do have a spare a donut, some tools. Looks like they were never open. Okay. These things, okay, so you can put the seeds down. These things will protrude, you know, intrude actually in the in the trunk space, but, but nothing too bad. And then I wonder, what is this? What kind of, what kind of button does this do? Huh, I don't know. What does this mean? Is this like where you put your hand or is this like a warning saying that don't smash your hand? Not sure, but it does have the, uh, the lever. So if I ever get kidnapped or something, okay. Well, we'll take it. We'll take it. It does have a backup camera, so it is a 2020. Well, like I said, the um, from the exterior, it looks okay. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. But I right, put your hand there. Open it up. Yeah. <clears throat> Jumping inside. So it's a black on black special. I do like that. Oh, it is hot. It's got 25,000 miles, 472 to be exact. Um, just looking at it, okay, so thinking of it as a, uh, as a standard size car, so it's a step above a midsize, which <laughs> I know, car rental companies, they always, they always kind of create their own category, but uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a compact by any stretch of the imagination. It's a nicer compact than you would normally get, uh, but it's, you know, I'll look it up. I'll look it up on the, on the Volkswagen's website <laughs> to make sure that I'm not talking out of my... We ran. But anyway, you have softer plastics. Okay, nice. Softer material. Even softer here and here. Nice. Uh, okay, plasticky, but that works. Uh, walk and unlock. Yeah, like, I mean, this is hard, but even this is soft. So that's kind of nice. You have power, let's see, power down. Oh, oh, power. Oh, power up and down. So that's nice. You have, look at this. Oh, okay. Window lockout. So you have, okay, you have heated... You have heated mirrors, so that's nice. I always wonder, why did the German cars, they always have them here, and especially like Volkswagen cars, they have them here, instead of like activating them, you know, through here, which if you are defrosting the rear window, you get to defrost the side mirrors, but you know, maybe they're, they don't, they don't want to be that fancy. The tiniest of the little light controls right there, uh, I guess they, they just want you to leave it on auto, but yeah, no fog lights here, but even if you turn it on, like you see, the like it doesn't do anything. So whether it's on or not, uh, it, they're still on auto. So there's that. You don't have any wood here, but you do have these little silvery bits here and there. I wonder if maybe on the higher up trim, these are substituted with something else. Maybe carbon fiber, maybe wood, whatever the case might be. This is interesting. So the steering wheel, right? It's a nice steering wheel. It has a tasteful use of piano black. Not a big fan of piano black, but at the same time, when it's applied in a nicer places, like where they're not gonna attract too many fingerprints, it's okay. But I do think that manufacturers should stay away from it, especially like in a wide, like areas where you would have fingerprints all over the place, like like there, for example. So the interesting thing about the steering wheel, it's not round. Now, I understand a lot of them, a lot of manufacturers, they make the bottom, you know, flat, but this thing is not round, like here, like, like this is not a circle. Like, I don't know how I can capture this, but you can kind of see the bottom is flat. So it's more of an oval shape. Um, I guess it's unique enough to be special, I guess. And you have your grips here, but I don't know if it's comfortable. Like human hand is designed, I guess, for, for more round <laughs> thing to hold on to. But yeah, none of this thing is, is round. Like I can't feel anywhere where it's round. So, I mean, it is unique. Gotta give them that, but it is what it is, right? So here, you have some controls and we'll start it up. Obviously we have the keys. You have cruise control here. You have, I'm not sure if it has radar cruise control. I don't know what this button does. We we will, we will be uh, testing it out. And I will put another video out there. You know, I'm going on my, 
you know, 212 mile road trip one way. So we'll, we'll know that. Here you have, I'm gonna show you some interesting things there. Obviously I drove it from, from the car rental place here. So I'll show you this. All right, time to start it. The start button is right there. I don't know why they wouldn't put it anywhere else, but they do have a place here if the battery is running out for you to put your key up against this and start it up. Also check this out, the pedals are kind of nice. All right, foot on the brake, start. All right, gauges don't do any kind of sweep. Attention, the engine is running, okay? Attention, the engine is running. Okay, well, that's good. All right, we really got to get some AC here. Max AC? No, 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 we don't want that. Okay, max AC is literally max AC. Okay, we don't want that. So, all right, so check this out. Yeah, hopefully, whew. Um, all right, so this lit up as auto. Obviously, I can turn it on. I can turn them on from here, but uh, I guess just leave them on auto. There's really no need to to do anything there. I wonder if you turn it on here, does it light up? Nope, it doesn't light up. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's look at the gauges. Uh, I know I've seen pictures of this car with like the full electronic screen. I think that it's the stuff that they borrow from Audi. Uh, this particular one, once again, being more in the base model, you, you don't get that. But I like the gauges. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, 160 mile an hour speedometer, I, I doubt that. But you have, let's see. Now look at this. I just started this car. It is so hot today. I just barely started and the temperature is already up. <laughs> so it wasn't cold, even though I, I mean, I brought it back from from Enterprise probably six hours ago and I haven't driven it since. So, all right, let's check this out. So <laughs> the, the little green light that tells you you gotta press the, the put your foot on a brake. I don't know if that's really necessary. <laughs> it's not like, like, oh my God, it doesn't shift. Well, put your foot on the brake, genius. <laughs> so anyway, looks like I didn't get it with a full tank of gas, so well. All right, so let's take a look. You have a, a white on black kind of a screen there. Uh, let's check this out. Let's turn on this cruise control. And it looks like you guys can see that with this, these buttons plus and minus, I guess I can set my, uh, my, my speed, which is weird that I can do that when I'm stopped and it goes up by one mile an hour. I wonder what does this button do? Oh, okay. Blind spot monitoring. Oh, maybe I, I need to control it with this. Yep, there you go. Blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, front assist. I don't know what any of these things mean, but I guess it's a combination of these buttons that I can control. Uh, whoops. And I guess I can maybe click OK or something to turn it off. Blind spot monitor, rear traffic, front assist. Well, I'm gonna leave them all on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch anything, but that's what that button does. And then I'm guessing that this button just does the cruise control. Whoops. Yeah, so right there. For some reason, it takes away your odometer in place of your speed. So, all right, go figure. Infotainment system is switched off. Why does it telling me that? <laughs> I'm not asking for that information. But in any case, oh, maybe because I'm pressing the volume buttons? I don't know. Um, in any case, I guess I'm gonna be playing with this a lot more on the road, but there is stuff right here that I can, play around with oh there you go all right so then these buttons here you have different screens there and there so let's see can I can I get rid of this now can I just go like here okay there you go so you have assist system audio phone vehicle status driving data assist system okay all right well then let's look at the vehicle status climate control requires the engine to be running is this like Mr. Like Captain Obvious? Like, yeah, why why do I need to know that? Like, yeah, no, no crap, right? I mean it's it's got the auto, it's got the climate system, okay. It's even got the heated seats, which leads me to believe that this is not the very base model. Um yeah, you have your you know your climate. I guess the, the max AC will really blast you. But we don't want that. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty simple. Now in, in a lot of German cars you can do this. You can just basically select every zone. So I don't, not sure, you know, if that's necessary, but I guess it's nice to have. But then if you do click defrost here and defrost there, it does start blasting on full again. But, you know, we need, we don't need that. So 
Yeah, heated seats would be nice in the wintertime. Don't really need them there. But that's hilarious. Like, who does that? Like, why do I need that? Um, okay. Is that the vehicle status? That That's it. That is the status. <laughs> and you see, it's... It's almost seven o'clock in, in the in the evening and it's still 89 degrees. So it's, it was really brutal today. Um, what else can you do? Driving data, since last refuel, four miles that was driven, travel time range. Okay, so a lot better range than on the Chevy Spark. Fuel economy, since last refuel. Economy now, oil temperature. I don't know why it's not registering oil temperature. Warning at. Oh, so like it'll warn you when you're going. Oh, and then okay, digital speedometer, and then I guess a lot of since last refuel stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can reset it, or I guess maybe. Oh, or maybe I can just reset it right there for the trip, for this one. But that's a weird placement of this button. But okay, well, you know, entertainment infotainment system. I think this is one of those things that will also come with. Uh, you know, you have your. AM, FM, you have whatever other Bluetooth audio, the connection, okay, source. Oh, okay, it is a touch screen, so you can you can plug in an SD card there. Let's turn that off or down. Okay, so a lot of different, obviously, modern media. You can kind of see 89 degrees. You can see it's, okay, so it's 719 right now. I don't know what that little symbol is. I don't know if I can touch that or not. Okay, so you either have media or radio, so that's kind of simple. Okay, and it is touch screen. No satellite, so AM, oh, maybe, wait, maybe AM, FM, yeah, no satellite. Hmm, that's weird. Different settings, arrow keys, okay, well, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay, phone, so Adriana's iPhone, so Adriana was here. App. It does have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and whatever the mirror link is. So I will be hooking up my phone on the trip. So I'll, nice to have navigation here again. Voice, John's Galaxy Note 20. Hey, I have I have Galaxy Note 20, but my name is not John. And then menu, you can play around with a lot of different stuff. stuff. What is vehicle? Oh, okay. So look at that. You have a bunch of stuff here. Status, drive safely. Driver one. Tire, oh, tire pressure monitoring system, okay. So, but it doesn't tell me what it is. Okay, driver one. Okay, I don't know what any of this stuff means. Long term, okay. I don't, once again, I don't really know how to reset this. <laughs> how do you reset this? The, the setting? Tires? Oh, look at that. Winter tires. So, oh, all right, this is getting, yeah, this video is getting a bit long, so, <laughs> but I guess, you know, it's interesting how they will, how they have all these, all these things here, factory settings, wow, I'm kind of surprised there's not a big, like, reset button, like, right there, since refuel, like, like, a lot of these things are since refuel, like, what is their obsession since refuel, like, I get it, but they're they're putting way too much emphasis on it. I don't know how I can reset this. I don't know if there's a, some sort of a since start. Okay. Long term, yeah. Okay, status is useless. Consumer, consumers, Ener oh, energy consumers. Okay, well, that's kind of nice, I, I guess. I wonder if I do this. Can I reset it with this? No, that's just a tune-up. All right, you know what? Yeah, that's too many things here. All right, so I will be hooking up my phone when we when we go uh, climb it. Oh, okay, so not only you have a full array of buttons here, you do have a full array of stuff here. Okay, low, low, dual climb it. Yeah, you see you can select all your modes. Okay, well, that, that's interesting. I guess that's something. Radio, climate, setting, sound, legal notices. <laughs> Equip with Carnet, okay. You have a special thing about all right okay all right let's take a look here wow i did, didn't think i would talk that much about um volkswagen jetta electronic parking blank switch what is this oh start stop system deactivation i don't know if it's annoying yet i haven't driven this car all that much 
eco mode okay so here it shows up driving mode eco oh oil temperature just showed up okay nice all right maybe we don't need that a bunch of blanks i don't know what you're gonna get out of this car mm. okay you have your you know pr and d you have the plus and the minus you can shift right there um well now this oil consumption warning okay Maybe we're just gonna have it on range, how's that? And then you also have, some, so the plus and minus here, and then you also have a sport mode, S. So when I pull on it backwards, that little D turns into S, so who knows. All right, I'm gonna test all that out in another video. You have glove box, which got the manual. Let's see what kind of manual it has. Actually, pretty thin manual. It's got Volkswagen. Yeah, pretty thin manual. Well, okay, not a whole lot. No window sticker here, no, because car rental companies, they usually don't do that. I mean, it's a nice pouch. It's got some sort of a panel here. I have no idea where that came from. I've looked underneath. Nothing is really obvious. All right, these seats. So these look like they're leather seats. They're not. They're, I think they're synthetic leather. They're relatively comfy. Um, they're, they're not powered, uh, even here on the driver's side. But here's what I noticed. So check this out. I'm 5'11". If I move the seat all the way back... That's way too far for me. And then check this out. You have a town car right there. I have to move the seats all the way back. And, you know, I am comfortable there. But check this out. This thing moves way back. I can't reach the pedals. So I have to move it a bit closer. Yeah, like that. So that's that's something, I guess. So this is where I would drive. Um, all right, we'll, we'll check out the back and then the, the engine and we'll, we'll cut this shorter. All right, you have a sunroof, which I'm not a big fan of these. I mean, they look they look like they block a lot of sun, but I think when the sun is really bright, it won't do a whole lot. But let's see. It is a, it is a pretty big sunroof, so kudos for that. You have the wind deflector that just came up. Uh, let's see, can I open it? Well, but you know what? That's kind of that kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't really open all that far back. <laughs> Why doesn't it open further? I mean, the whole panel kind of came out, but uh, yeah, I feel like it's false advertisement. I mean, you have a bigger roof, but it doesn't open all the way. So, all right, let's see, can it can it do the little vent? I don't know how. Oh, there you go. No. How the, how the hell do you get this? All right, okay, you know what? All right, I, I guess it's fine. Okay, I think I got it back. Uh, okay, all right, I guess that's for the door. The engine is running, wow. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, kudos for that. I'm guessing I'm gonna be forgetting my glasses in here. Um, kudos for that too. So, yep, you got a bunch of stuff there. Yeah, see, seats are, are semi comfy. You know, they're not plush, but they're not, you know, penalty. Penalty. I'm out there. Relax, car. Jesus. All right, we're going to do this. Oh, so that is the vent. That is the vent mode, but I couldn't even tell. All right, let's see here. All right. So these seats are German harsh. They're taking cues from BMWs and from other German cars. But look, room is fine. I still think it's a compact car, but <laughs> there you go. You guys can see that. I mean, it looks fine, I guess. You do have a little, what looks like a little speaker there. Kind of nice view. Yeah, this sunroof, I mean, it could have been a lot larger. Leads me to believe that this glass, it's its like a mirage. I don't know why they they even bothered uh, putting a giant piece of glass where they could have just done a standard size sunroof because it's a little bigger than the, the normal ones, like than on a town car, but not that much more. All right, let's see what do we got. So, okay, well, we got, I wonder, what would you gonna put in here? Like this little circle, what kind of bottle would fit? But it's cushy, it's fine. It's fake leather, it's synthetic stuff, but no no, no vents, no heat, no no nothing. All right, just got this. All right. Yeah, it is a speaker grill. All right, now this one, from what I know, it's a 1.4 liter turbo engine. 
oh god this thing is heavy and it doesn't have yeah it has one of these try strut no struts there so we're not gonna spend too much time from what i know it's a 1.4 liter i don't actually oh yeah here 1.4 i think it's about 147 horsepower um i mean it looks it drove fine i think it does have a six speed automatic transmission no engine cover so that's weird um I mean, it, it's a little loud but other than that i mean it's got 25,000 miles so i'm hoping it's in good shape look the air filter is also screwed in which is i hate that if i was the owner i, I would drive it nuts but yeah you know oh god this thing is really heavy i, I don't know why it has to be that heavy um now let me make sure that this thing is this thing is actually like closed i don't really understand like from up from sitting here you can't really tell that it's open <laughs> all right well i guess now it is so anyway wow <laughs> i didn't think i could i could spend that much time talking about uh talking about a jetta but look overall it looks fine I still think that whatever is considered standard size car, it's an overkill. Um, I like the room. I like the whole business class type of deal. You know, we'll see what the road brings us. Um, definitely my first Volkswagen. Oh, by the way, the last thing I, I talk about. All right, so this this uh, this thing here, I mean, it it's pretty low to be an armrest. This one is way better, and it is cushy. But here's the thing. I don't know if mine is broken, but when I lifted it up, I can't get it back down. So... I don't know what happens here, but if I press down on this and I will need two hands, then it'll close up. So I think just mine is broken. And I think on other models, you have a light here, but because it's more of a base model, you don't have anything here. So, all right, on that note, I will be closing. I will be forcing this thing shut because look, I can't do it any other way. And I'll post another video with a road trip. We'll see you everybody.